So I've had the Elgato light strips for just over two weeks now. And as a first time of being exposed to what are effectively my first RGB light strips, how good are the Elgato light strips for an MSRP of 59.99 UK? Well, let's try and answer that question with my full experience review of the Elgato light strips. Let's go. Hi, Ben from Lover of Tech. If you enjoy videos like this and you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're part of Team TLS, the Tech Lover Squad, so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. So quick disclaimer, Elgato did send these out for me to test and review, but this is not sponsored and they do not get to see this video before you all as my audience. Now with that out of the way, let's start with the overall setup process. Now what it looks like Elgato is trying to achieve with the light strips is an easy to set up, simple and intuitive control linked into their hardware and software ecosystem with things like the Stream Deck and the Control Center app. And not just the standard RGB, but these are RGB WW LEDs with white balance and temperature control that are calibrated to be camera friendly and flicker free. When it comes to the installation of the light strips, everything you need is inside the box and it's basically a tooler setup process, which as you know, is something I'm a big fan of. Now, <laughs> this one is a funny one. It may not count for anything, but my initial worries of the light strips were where the hell am I going to place them? Would it be around the wave panels that I've set up or around the tables? Would the strips be too long, meaning I would have to cut them too short? It low-key felt like some weird reason, but I was like, you know, I was worried that I would have to cut the strips down and which would have, I don't know, to me, it would have felt kind of wasteful, even though I know it's kind of standard practice when it comes to light strips. Luckily, I didn't have to, as I realized that sticking them around my working desk was actually the best solution out of the box. One of the best things about the light strip is the fact that the plug adapter is modular. This makes life so much easier depending on obviously the country and the region you're in without having to worry about travel adapters. Now, if you haven't watched my unboxing of the light strips, then I definitely suggest you do because I had a funny moment while struggling to fit the UK plug adapter on it. So make sure you place it in the correct orientation and rotate it to secure and fit. Unlike me, who was unfortunately fighting with the plug. <laughs> As always, make sure that the surface you're planning to stick the light strips on are clean and free of dust and dirt as much as possible for a stronger stick with the Tessa adhesives that come on the light strips. Just carefully take your time and stick the strips in a place where you want to with a gentle press and also as you're going around, just go over and press it again. Once done, remember to use the double-sided Tessa adhesive strip for the light strip module to stick it in place nice and firm or else the weight of it will definitely pull down the light strip strips. Trust me, it happened to me. So that double-sided adhesive is very important. Ensure that the shorter end of the light strip is plugged into the light module, which then turns the lights on and enables pairing mode. The installation is done simple enough, but the next stage is where I ran into a few problems, specifically setting up the Elgato Control Center app on Windows desktop. Now, once the Elgato Control Center app was installed, it initially could not find a light strip. So I had to actually use a SIM tool to reset it in the light module. Once it's reset, the app actually recognized the light strip. So I thought, yep, great. Here we go. We're ready to go. We should be good to go, but no bueno. It was a no-go. Then I actually checked my Wi-Fi connection and I realized that it was actually on the Wi-Fi connection for the five gigahertz frequency. And Elgato does state that you do need a 2.4 gigahertz frequency connection for the Wi-Fi to work with the light strips. Now, for some reason, even after going into my router settings and forcing a 2.4 gigahertz connection, the control center app just would not complete the setup and it just kept failing. This part of the process was a little frustrating and I actually thought maybe I had a faulty unit. I then reverted to the setup process with a smartphone, this time using my iPhone, which Elgato recommends as one of four ways to set up either using Windows, Mac, iOS, or Android. With the smartphone used for the pairing process, it worked like a treat with no issues, thank goodness. So based on my experience, Experience with the pairing process, I would say that setting up on Windows with what I did directly could be a pain because it was a pain for me, but the process with the smartphone was much easier. So I kind of recommend maybe going that way from the jump, unless if you try with Windows, it works fine. Once that's paired, because the light strips are Wi-Fi based, you can control it with the Elgato Control Center software from either desktop or smartphone straight after that, and it interlinks in between, which is really convenient and good. This then leads me to the light strips themselves. 
How are they? Well, I actually think they're really good. The brightness levels are good. The color options are great. The light strips themselves give off a good quality hue. Overall, look, I have no complaints about the light strips themselves. And it also seems like it's very true when it comes to the anti-flicker because all the shots I took of the light strips, even at the higher frame rates at 60 frames a second on my camera, seems to show no sign of flicker at all. So that's a big well done to Elgato here. The quality is really good. Lastly is the controls. The final part has to be that because this to me has to be the unique and the biggest selling point to the Elgato that sets it apart, which is the integration with the hardware and the software ecosystem with the control center app on desktop and phone plus the Elgato Stream Deck. Even in the simplest and basic configuration, the Stream Deck works really well with the light strips from setting up your favorite colors, turning the lights on and off, adjusting the brightness, setting specific brightness level based on the time of day that you're working in, and also things like, you know, the white balance and the color temperature with the controls of the screen deck it works really well now the control center app both for desktop and phone work basically the same with of course the phone give you that true untethered control wirelessly to turn on and off the light picking and selecting your favorite colors and adjusting the brightness. It's great to have that ease of control on your phone. And that's something that I found worked actually very well, very simple, very straightforward with no complications. Now for the wrap up and to conclude, my time with the light strips have been good. I like them and I actually think they're really worth it for what Elgato have set out to do with especially the integration with the Elgato software and hardware ecosystem. But for me, here are a couple of things I think would have been nice and would have been an even nicer touch if the addition was there. Yes, I understand that this is a Wi-Fi based light system, but there should be a physical switch on the light module to turn on and off the lights without actually needing an app on the phone or desktop to do so. And maybe a spare double-sided Tesla adhesive for when you want to remove the module and place it in a different position, potentially. Just putting out there. The control center app on desktop is too small and it makes fine picking your favorite colors such a pain because it's hidden in a small icons tray. And that would have been nice to be able to expand it on the desktop to have a bigger view to make the process much easier. The app on both iOS and Android have no widget support which could come in clutch for making even quicker changes to the light strips. And that's something I thought would be there, but having widget support on your phone could be really good for the Elgato Control Center for the light strips. And one last bonus is some out of the box light effect presets. Look, I'm sure spending time, the endless controls that you get with the Stream Deck could allow the end user to make that happen, but that's needing the Stream Deck. Talking about having the presets out of the box, it would be nice that the Control Center app for desktop, especially the phone, had some nice presets out of the box with how many color options that you have with the light strips, having some effects out of the box would be really good. That is it for me. That is my overall experience review of the Elgato light strips. They're really nice. I really like them. Very simple and easy to set up and get going. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you have experience with light strips on like myself as a first timer? And what's your thoughts on the Elgato light strips? Let me know in the comment section below. That's it for me, Ben from Lover of Tech. If you enjoy videos like this, you know exactly what to do, man. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're part of Team TLS, the tech level squad, so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. I hope you're all safe during this time. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.